This week's Peppy List covers the decline of feudalism. As culture and technology change, old systems of government and economics must reform or face abrupt revolution. A series of events contributed to the decline of feudalism and the rise of democratic ideas. In this video, I will cover the Magna Carta, Parliament, the Bubonic Plague, Joan of Arc, and the Hundred Years' War. The first topic I will cover is the Magna Carta. The Magna Carta was a written agreement between the king and the noblemen written in 1215 that limited the power of the English monarch. The Magna Carta is Latin for Great Charter. Yes, this is the same King John from the story of Robin. John made powerful enemies by losing land to the French. He taxed the nobility heavily, made enemies with the church, and imprisoned people without trial. In 1215, angry nobles forced King John to meet in Runnymede next to the Thames River. King John agreed to not raise taxes without the nobles' consent, nor could he imprison people without a jury trial. Second on the peppy list is the word Parliament. During the reign of King Edward I, he established a more just system in which more English had their say in politics. It was called the Model Parliament and included commoners, church officials, and nobles. Parliament is a group of citizens that help make laws for government. In our country, we call this Congress. In the United States, we have two parts of Congress, the Senate and the House of Representatives. There are two senators per state, and the House of Representatives is determined by the state's population. For example, in California, the senators are Kamala Harris and Dianne Feinstein. In England, Parliament is inside the building where Big Ben is. There, they have a House of Commons and a House of Lords. Many other countries have parliaments. For example, here is Greece's parliament building in Athens. Third on the list is the bubonic plague. The bubonic plague was a contagious disease that was caused by bacteria on fleas. It was also called the Black Death. After the plague, power shifted from feudal lords to peasants because they were in high demand due to one third of the population being killed from the disease. The bubonic plague was not just in Europe. It spread throughout the world and in fact it killed more people in China, where it is believed that half the population died. Travelers reported that dead bodies covered the ground in Central Asia and India. Similar to today with COVID-19, trade and commerce slowed to almost a halt during the plague years. Another similarity is that a number of peasant re rebellions broke out after the plague because the rich tried to return to the system from before the plague. Fourth on the list is Joan of Arc. Few females are discussed during the Middle Ages, but one standout was Joan of Arc. She was a 17-year-old peasant girl who inspired the French nation. She claims to have heard the voices of saints who told her to help. She disguised herself as a boy and put on a suit of armor and fought the English. After picking King Charles out of a crowd, Joan knelt before him and announced that she was sent to help save France. Joan of Arc was pivotal in the Siege of Orleans, where she inspired the beleaguered French soldiers to victory. Unfortunately, Joan of Arc was betrayed by her allies and the Duke of Burgundy turned her over to the English. She was burned at the stake for witchcraft. The final topic on this week's list is the Hundred Years' War. The Hundred Years' War was a series of battles fought between 1377 and 1453 between the English and the French. The war was fought over land in France. The English claimed French territory and the French king disputed these claims. The French king at the time was Philip VI. There were three important battles of note during this war. The Battle of Cressy in which the English won using their longbows against the French knights. The second is the Siege of Orleans where the French won because of Joan of Arc's inspirational rallying of the troops. Lastly, the Battle of Agincourt, when the English won even though they were outnumbered by the French. After this war, changes in military technology made knights and castles almost obsolete. The longbow and the cannon changed war forever. So in review of this week's Peppy List, I covered the Magna Carta, Parliament, the Bubonic Plague, Joan of Arc, and the Hundred Years' War.